Black holes are some of the most massive objects in the universe, and probably the most important objects in the evolution of galaxies. The biggest black hole ever found lies at the center of the Phoenix Cluster, a group of about a thousand galaxies located in the southern constellation of Phoenix, about 5.8 billion light years from Earth. The South Pole Telescope collaboration found this cluster in 2010, and it's one of the most intensely studied galaxy clusters in our universe. At the heart of it is what scientists believe to be the biggest black hole known to humanity. Known as Phoenix A, the supermassive black hole is about 100 billion times more massive than the Sun. That's a number that our brain simply can't understand. This black hole is actually more massive than some galaxies and about 10% the mass of the entire Milky Way. Calculations show the diameter of the black hole is about 590 billion kilometers, or about a hundred times the distance between the Sun and Pluto. Black holes don't just eat stars, they also boost star formation, and galaxies in Phoenix A cluster have an abnormally high rate of star formation, over 700 times higher than the Milky Way. While the Milky Way gives birth to about one star per year, Phoenix A births 740 stars every year. But the most active galaxy is a massive galaxy right at the center of the Phoenix Cluster, which is surrounded by hot gas millions of degrees in temperature. Scientists calculated that this gas has a mass about trillions of times that of the Sun, or several times greater than the combined mass of all the galaxies in the cluster. This hot gas loses energy as it glows and x-rays, causing it to cool and form stars. But usually it's the other way around, because in most galaxy clusters we have observed, bursts of energy driven by such a black hole keep most of the hot gas from cooling, slowing down star birth. The first clear evidence of rapid star formation in the Phoenix Cluster was reported in 2012. Then, NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory found the hot gas is cooling nearly at the rate expected in the absence of energy produced by a black hole. However, later on, Hubble data show that about 10 billion solar masses of cool gas are located along filaments leading toward the black hole. Additional radio data come from the very large array that reveals jets blasting out near the central black hole. Scientists believe these jets likely inflated cavities or bubbles in the hot gas seen in the Chandra data. Both the jets and bubbles are evidence of the rapid growth of the black hole in the past. Scientists expect that early in this growth, the black hole may have been undersized compared to the mass of its host galaxy and too weak to heat the surrounding gas, which eventually got cooler. The farther away from the black hole, the faster the gas can cool to form stars. Eventually, the black hole jets will generate turbulence, sound waves, and shock waves that will heat up the gas until the outburst ceases and the gas starts to cool again. Phoenix A star supermassive black hole is so massive that it would have been impossible for it to form from a star. The most likely scenario is that it formed from the collision of multiple supermassive black holes that formed shortly after the Big Bang, meaning it is one of the oldest black holes in the universe. But even as you watch this video, the black hole keeps absorbing matter and growing in size and mass. Scientists suggest the black hole is eating the equivalent of 60 suns per year. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.